Hi Kingdom Kids, it's me, Pastor Angela. Thank you for joining me online. Let's finish learning from our lesson series called More Than a Song, and it's all about worship. Many people think worship is when we sing songs to God, but worship is more than a song. We have learned why we worship, because God is good, and we've learned when we worship, which is anytime, and we've learned what is worship, which is spending time with God. But how do we worship? Let's find out. Our Bible story is from the book of Genesis, chapter 4, verses 1 to 16. You can pause this video and read from your Bible or your Bible app, or you can keep on watching. Cain and Abel from Genesis chapter 4, verses 1 to 16. After Adam and Eve left the Garden of Eden, they had two sons. Cain, the older son, was a farmer. He grew crops. Abel, the younger son, was a shepherd. He took care of sheep. Cain brought an offering to God. He gave God some of the crops from his harvest. Abel also brought an offering to God. He gave God the best parts of the best sheep. God accepted Abel's offering. He did not accept Cain's offering. Cain was angry and sad. God said to Cain, why are you angry and sad? If you do the right thing, I will accept your offering. If you don't do the right thing, sin is ready to attack you. Sin wants you to keep doing the wrong thing. Do not give in to sin. Cain said to Abel, Let's go to the field. When they got there, Cain attacked Abel and killed him. Later, God asked Cain, Where's your brother Abel? Cain said, I don't know. Is it my job to take care of my brother? God said, What have you done? Your brother's blood is on the ground. I know what happened. Now you are under a curse. When you work the ground, it will not grow crops for you. You will be a restless wanderer around the earth. Cain said, This punishment is more than I can take. I can't be a farmer, and I can't be in your presence. I will be a wanderer, and whoever finds me will kill me. God said, No. If anyone kills you, I will punish them seven times more. Then God put a mark on Cain. It was a warning to anyone who met him not to kill him. Then Cain left God's presence. Cain and Abel were the children of Adam and Eve. One of the ways they worshipped God was to give him offerings. When we think of an offering, we might think of giving money, but back then they didn't have money, so they gave God what they had. Cain was a farmer. He grew fruits and vegetables. Abel was a shepherd. He took care of animals. When Cain brought God an offering, he gave some of the produce that he harvested. When Abel brought God an offering, the Bible says he gave fat portions from the firstborn animals. That means Abel gave the best parts to God, while Cain, he just gave whatever there was. When we give God an offering, we give our best. This is why God accepted Abel's offering, because he gave the best. But God did not accept Cain's offering because Cain just gave whatever. Abel gave the best, 
Cain gave whatever was there. So this is how we worship God. We give our best. Did you know God gave us His best? Our Bible memory verse reminds us of this. It says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1.1 Can you say that all by yourself from memory? I think you can. Go for it. Good job! God created a beautiful world that He gave to us, and it's our turn to give Him our best. What happens if we do not give God our best? Cain did not give God his best, and it made him bitter. It made him jealous of his brother Abel, maybe even angry. That's why God told Cain not to give in to temptation. Temptation is wanting to do something bad. It happens when we lose focus on God like Cain did. Instead of focusing on God and worshiping God by giving his best, Cain gave in to temptation and he killed his brother Abel. If we don't give our best to God, it's easier to lose focus on God. It's, it's easier to be distracted by other things and easier to give into temptation. So now that, that doesn't mean that we're going to hurt other people, but it could mean doing other things that are not right. It could mean, yes, it could mean that we will hurt other people like by fighting or by being mean to other people or saying really mean things to others. We could also mean not listening to our parents or our teachers. It could mean not praying, not reading our Bible, not going to church. It could mean being impatient um, and it could mean not forgiving others. When these things happen, what do we do? What can we do? Well, don't do what Cain did. <laughs> he did not listen to God. He didn't try giving a better offering, the best he could give. When we don't give God our best, we should try again. <laughs> and the next time we try again, we make sure to give him our best. What is our best? That's like our best offerings, our best prayers, our best songs, our best attitudes, our best actions. This is how we worship God, by giving God our best. Will you connect with us online on Facebook and on Instagram? We are at HICC Kingdom Kids or use the hashtag HICC Kingdom Kids. And if you are watching on our YouTube channel, thank you so much. Please subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Let's pray together. God, thank you for giving us your best. We want to give you our best, our best offerings, our best attitudes, our best selves, our best worship. You are so great and mighty. You deserve the best that we could give. When we make mistakes, please remind us to return to you and try again. Thank you for loving us when we give our best. And thank you for loving us even when we fail. No matter what, you love us and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remember, Worship is more than a song. Why do we worship? Because God is good. When do we worship? Anytime. What is worship? Spending time with God. And how do we worship? 
by giving God our best. I hope you have a wonderful week. I will see you online. God bless.